Betzalel and Wool now clash over direction of rates investors needed to rethink safe havens, according to the most recent JP Morgan Asset Management Long-Term Capital Markets Assumptions Report. With negative yields on around 25% of government bonds, the trade-off for the insurance provided by fixed income looks increasingly costly. Do fixed income managers agree that the future is, if not bleak, then at least challenging? Certainly, many agree that there is little value in certain parts of the fixed income market. Speaking at the recent Square Mile Investment Conference, Richard Woolnow, pictured, manager of the M&G Optimal Income Fund, said, I don't think you can generate negative interest rates. And if you can't generate negative interest rates permanently, then the risk slash reward is skewed. If the upside is limited, because rates can't go to minus 2 to 3 percent, it's very hard to be bullish. As a result, we remain very bearish about interest rates. Bond bull market is far from over but Ariel Betzalel, manager of the Jupiter Strategic Bond Fund, has a different view and believes there is still value if you know where to look. The government bond bull market is far from over. U.S. Treasury yields fall sharply over the course of rate-cutting cycles, and we think rates have much more room to drop, which is why we continue to be bullish. At this late stage in the cycle, with the powerful deflationary forces of aging demographics and too much debt, I believe the path of least resistance is for developed market interest rates to continue to drift lower. Ultimately, I think U.S. Treasury yields are likely to trend towards the yields seen in Japan and Europe which of course would result in compelling returns for investors. Betzalel believes the Federal Reserve has little ammunition left to stimulate the economy with rates still at historic lows. He expects to see more aggressive policy easing than is currently priced in by markets if the macroeconomic climate sours from here. It looks like monetary policy is all tapped out, which is why we're hearing increasing debate about more radical policies that could be employed to fight the next downturn such as modern monetary theory debt write-offs and for the people, he says. While there is clearly a lot of pressure for policymakers to now turn to fiscal policy to reflate the economy, a risk for safe haven assets, he believes meaningful fiscal policy is only likely following a recession, not before. There are significant political hurdles to jump before any substantial policy can be enacted. Investors will have to take risks Wool now believes there are reasons to look harder at other parts of the fixed income market. There are structural shifts driving greater choice for fixed income investors and investors can look beyond government bonds for diversification and yield. He says, when I started in 1985, th for more on this story, visit the news article link.